If you wanna scale your company faster, you're gonna to need to have a team. And if you're gonna have a team, you're gonna to need to have documented business processes in order for the team to be as successful as possible in doing the work that you want them to do the right way. And in this video, I'm gonna show you why Loom absolutely sucks for creating your SOPs. And I'm gonna show you a free tool that's far better. Are you ready? Let's get into it. All right, so I believe that Loom is not an effective tool for creating your standard operating procedures. Now, it can be a very effective tool for some other things, but before we get into that, let's talk, let's first talk about like, why should you bother to create SOPs? Well, the biggest reason is that mind reading doesn't work. Your employees are, it's, it's just not realistic First of all, for the, your employees to be able to read your mind and know what you want. And it's also not realistic for them to be able to have a perfect recollection of a business process that they've maybe only done one time. So the quality of the execution of a recurring documented process of an organic system, sorry, a non-documented process or what I call an organic system, it's gonna vary with the time of day, the weather, the mood, the individual, the executing process and so forth. In other words, you're going to have a lot more mistakes anytime you expect your employees to be able to read your mind and remember everything verbatim. Human beings simply don't work that way. So Loom is a great tool. I don't want to throw Loom under the bus here because I actually use it. It's a great tool for sending personalized messages when you're prospecting, or maybe you're explaining a technical issue to one of the software vendors that you're using. It's good for all of those things, all of the non-recurring processes that you might have in your business. However, Loom is horrible for creating SOPs. Now, there's a couple of reasons for that. First off, when you create a Loom video, you're forcing your employee, especially if it's a four, five, 10 minute long video, they can't watch it one time and remember everything. So that means they have to hit play, pause, play, pause, play, pause, as they work their way through the video and heaven forbid they get distracted by something else or their browser crashes or a host of any number of reasons why they won't make it all the way through in the first attempt. Now they gotta find the place in the video where they were at and they've gotta buffer backwards and buffer forwards. It's really, really inefficient. Video-based SOPs, such as those created by Loom, are also really, really hard to scale because they're very time-consuming to update. As I'm sure you're very, very well aware, software interfaces and business processes, these things are changing on an ongoing basis, which means that every single time anything that's in your Loom SOP changes, you're faced with a decision. You either have to reshoot the entire thing, which is time consuming, or you have to edit it. And, and you might only be wanting to change, you know, just like one three second, like one frame, one picture in the video, and you got to re-edit the whole video, which is a horrible pain in the rear. Now, if you only ever had one SOP, of course, this would be manageable. However, you're not going to have only one SOP. Over time, you're going to have dozens and maybe hundreds of them. So the more videos that you have, this burden of reshooting and editing and updating becomes a significant burden, so much so that if you're like many of the folks I've talked to, eventually you'll realize that Loom is just not a really great solution for this problem. So there is a solution and it's free and it's Flowster's brand new free Chrome extension called Flowster Capture, and I'm gonna demonstrate it for you here just right in a second. Before I do that, I wanna let you know that there'll also be a link down in the description where you can watch, or rather where you can just go get the extension and add it to Chrome. You'll be able to do that in just a couple of seconds and literally create your very first SOP in the way that I'm about to show you in just a couple of seconds. So it's a really cool tool. All right, so let's say that you wanted to create a process for manually updating a contract record that is in your CRM. So you could, of course, shoot a Loom video, but for the reasons I described, maybe that's not the best way to do it. So instead, if once you've got uh, the Flowster Capture extension installed, this is all of you. All you need to do. It's kind of like creating a Loom, only it's not going to produce a video. It's going to literally capture every single one of your mouse clicks. So we're going to click on Capture. And then we're gonna say, well, I for everyone, I want a date of birth entered. So we'll go ahead and pick that date of birth. 
and then I want a contact source and that contact source is going to be you know whatever we'll just say webinar and then I want the contact type to be switched to customer and then I want the do not disturb turned on for say calls and voicemails and let's just to say that that's the end of the process we're happy with that so then you click complete so I literally only had to make a couple of clicks of my mouse. Flowster Capture will now create this process for you and you can share it with your team. So here is the raw process. Look at, let's look at it in preview mode. And so once you're in preview mode, you can see that every time I click the mouse, there was a screenshot that was taken. So we've got first one is, hey, you're going to go to Flowster. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the date of birth. You can see there's a green bar there that highlights date of birth. And then you're gonna click on the year and then you're gonna click on the month. And you don't have to have these in. You can remove these steps if you would like. This is all fully editable. And then here we're gonna say, well, type in webinar under the contact source. And here we've got click on lead under the contact type or rather change it to customer. So Flowster Capture captured every single one of my mouse clicks. Now you can go back into edit workflow mode. You can type in descriptions here if you would like. Um, you, if there's steps that you don't really want, you can delete those steps. And then the other really cool thing is if you happen to be using the Flowster process app, in addition to capture, you can very easily capture the cap, sorry, copy these captures into your Flowster process app. So let me just show you how to do that. All right, if you want to capture this, capture, copy this over to Flowster, simply click share, and you want to copy. So you're going to copy the HTML, and you can you can copy this HTML into more than one application, Google Docs, Asana, ClickUp, etc. Flowster is one of those apps. So we're going to copy that to the clipboard, clipboard rather. And here I am in my blank, SOP template within Flowster, and I literally on my with my mouse anywhere on the screen, I just hit paste. And there is all of my tasks from Flowster Capture now imported into my Flowster account for me be, to be able to use there if I would like. There. So that is why I think Loom is not the way for you to be creating your SOPs. Flowster Capture, which is completely free, uh, is a much, much faster tool and it will make creating your SOPs so much less painful and not only creating them, but also making sure that you're keeping them up to date over time. So if you have any questions or comments, I would love it if you would leave a comment right down below this video. There will be links in the description to some of the things that I mentioned. And if you'd like to see future videos like this one that are on productivity and how to grow your agency and, and how to build a team and so forth, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell so that you get notifications of future videos. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye-bye.